Blaise Pascal, a great mathematician, scientist, um, wrote, what can this incessant craving and this impotence of attainment mean? How we're always longing for something and never arriving and never achieving it, unless there was once a happiness belonging to man of which only the faintest traces remain in that void which he attempts to fill with everything within his reach. He's saying, inside we know there's something better. We want something more. And God promises that something more is going to come. Just don't try to get it in the wrong place, in the wrong time, in the wrong way. God is going to bring it in his perfect time. Albert Walters, in a book I highly recommend called uh, Creation Regained, says, God hangs on to his fallen original creation and salvages it. He refuses to abandon the work of his hands. In fact, he sacrifices his own son to save his original project. Humankind, which has botched its original mandate, and the whole creation along with it, is given another chance in Christ. We are reinstated as God's managers on earth. The original good creation is to be restored. That is the plan of God. Walters also says, it's striking how many of Jesus' miracles are miracles of restoration, restoration to health. I mean, think of the healing. It's, it's restoring them to a previous state where they didn't have that disease. Restoration to life. He restored Lazarus to what Lazarus once had. Now, Lazarus did not become, uh, did, did not have an immortal body when he was raised, so Lazarus died twice, right? I mean, because he, he's not alive today, uh, as far as I know, although it would be a great plot for a movie. Uh, but, but, I mean, he, so he died again, uh, but he will be raised forever. That was a, like a, a foretaste of resurrection, but it was more of a resuscitation, not an ultimate you know, resurrection, but he was brought back to life. Restoration to freedom from demonic possession. Jesus' miracles provide us with a sample of the meaning of redemption. And here it is. A freeing of creation from the shackles of sin and evil and a reinstatement of creaturely living as intended by God. 